Hey friends, it's Graz here. Once again, we're going to take a look at the mechanical bosses. The last time we saw Skeletron Prime, today we're going to take a look at the Destroyer. Consider the easiest of the mechanical bosses. You wouldn't think so considering the Destroyer has the most hit points out of all of them with 80,000. So there's pretty much two ways you could do this. One, you could gear up for armor, stack defense and outlast him, or you can gear up and stack offensive and try to burn him down quick as possible. For my tactic, I'm going to talk about gearing up and stacking defense, which I believe is easier. Please keep in mind that potions make this fight a lot easier as well, so be sure to get some iron skin, endurance, as well as regeneration, and if you can, heart reach will help as well, since the little probes drop hearts occasionally, that will make your battle a little bit easier, and hopefully use less health potions as well. Now previously I was talking about defense. The best case you can do with this is stack up on the warding prefix on all your accessories so that way you get the extra defense out of it. Also one accessory I highly suggest for this battle would be the cross necklace because the destroyer is so big and segmented it's going to cause a lot of damage and having that invincibility time will help you a lot in mitigating some of that damage. So having a warding cross necklace will go a long way. Now before we talk about weapons, you probably want to reforge your weapon as well to its best prefix. You're going to want to get the most out of it because again, you're going to be burning through a lot of health, so you don't want to waste a lot of time and give the destroyer upper hand in chewing down some of your hit points in the process. When it comes to weapons, some of the easiest weapons you could use against the destroyer are going to be the breaker blade, the clockwork assault rifle, and the laser rifle. Of course these drop from the wall of flesh, but they are very applicable against the destroyer regardless. I would say those weapons would represent the base floor in which you would want to use against it. If you can get some piercing weapons, they work very well. For summoners, the spider staff would be very good too, so that will work for you. If you can farm Halo Mimics and you can use Rebose, then the Daedalus Stormbow again will absolutely destroy the Destroyer. Especially if you stack with Holy Arrows, they absolutely do a ton of DPS, so they will wreck him in no time flat. For melee, the Knight's Edge can be very good with the right prefix. Spears have great potential, especially the Gungnir. Apologies if I said that wrong. The Dao of Pal can be a great alternative. When it comes to yo-yos, pretty much anything you can pick up in hard mode will do really good. The Hellfire, the Sheik, the Amarok, things like that will do really well against it. For Rangers, again, of course, the Dayla Stormbow will shred him. Adamantite Repeaters, Titanium Repeaters, they're very good too. Even if you get the Gatligator from the Traveling Merchant with Exploding Bullets, that will do a ton of damage as well. For magic users, the Medusa's head is very good for the destroyer. Magic harp can really wreck shop, so if you can get that and position your harp well, you can actually do a ton of damage very quickly. Another great suggestion from spellcasters would be the golden shower if you have it in your realm. Again, that's if you have crimson, lowering the defense on the destroyer will help a lot. And those are just a few suggestions off the top of my head. So there may be some other ones out there. Feel free to put them down below in the comment section if you know some. Anyway, the basis of this fight is pretty much to stay alive. Again, it's got 80,000 hit points. He's going to be moving all around. And the biggest thing, he's going to try to enclose you in a circle. Try not to stay in that circle. If you have to take a hit to get out of it, then do so. But you want to have that mobility to move around. Speaking of mobility, having wings would be really good. You necessarily don't need it if you don't have them. You can use a gravitation potion if you have those as well. Just don't venture too far off from the destroyer. While you're battling and doing damage, you'll see the probes pop out every so often. Do yourself a favor and don't let them probes build up. Again, they do drop hearts on occasion. I think it's a 50% chance drop. So if you go back and destroy some of those probes, you will get health and they won't do as much damage against you. So keep them cold to a certain point. If you want to go ahead and keep some around for farming, that's good. But don't let them get out of hand because they can do a ton of damage and cause major problems. Again, this is why you need the cross necklace too, to help mitigate some of their damage as long as having the destroyer there as well. Having an arena round to do battle in is nice, but it's not necessary and it's totally doable without one. If you don't have wings, the lightning boots are the next best thing for mobility because you want to be able to move fast as possible. And make sure you have yourself some greater healing potions. Regular healing potions won't cut it because they're not healing you fast enough. Greater healing potions will, and to be honest, they're not that hard to make once you get into hard mode. It just requires a little bit of farming. If you have about 15 to 20 potions, you should be good. Fighting the destroyer with palladium or cobalt armor is very doable. It may take a little practice to dodge and try to mitigate damage, but again, it is doable. If you're having a hard time, try mithril or, or calcum, whichever your world has. 
And above all else, don't give up. Just hang in there and keep trying. This is a bit of a challenging fight because of the hit points. Not because of the complexity or anything else. His hit points just keep him around longer. And at this point, you're just trying to outlast him. Anyway, I hope this video has helped you. Please feel free to rate it and let me know what you think down below in the comments section. I'd love to hear from you as always. If you have any other suggestions, comments, or questions, just put them right down there. Have yourselves a wonderful day, and I'll see you again next time when we take a look at the twins. The video's over, but there's more where that came from. Be sure to subscribe for more Terraria Let's Plays, Top 5s, and other videos as well as we cover different titles. You can click on one of the videos here for more. Be sure to rate this video accordingly as it helps the channel out greatly. Have yourself a wonderful day, and I will see you again next time.